Most of the time you're designing, you don't have metrics. So you really have two things at that point. You, well, three. You really have three things at that point. You have your own experience, right, which is a combination of all of, you know, touchy-feely stuff, metrics, all of those things. You have uh, best practices, which I put air quotes around because I think a lot of what we assume are best practices actually aren't. And then you have uh, your instinct about this game. And I think that your instinct about this game, as long as you understand as a designer that put it, once you put it in front of players, you may learn that you were totally wrong, right? Your instinct about this game is incredibly valuable because if you're a good designer, you can see the whole game in your head. And no amount of focus testing on an incomplete game is gonna understand the complete game that you're going for and how all the pieces inter interweave with each other. But it, it's really hard when you're in that environment to justify some of the decisions that you're making, especially if they go against best practices. So that's why I've been talking more about best practices lately because I think there's this really flawed assumption and when you assume that just because something worked for another game and your game is kind of similar, I mean, even if your game's totally different, you see people doing this, but there's this assumption that because my game is similar, if I do the exact same thing, I'm gonna have the same results. And from my perspective, you may as well be, you know, practicing voodoo and put some chicken's feet on your keyboard because it's not at all true. Every game is unique. And even if it's a clone of another game, the other game came first, you have different art, you have different timing, the market is different, your audience is gonna be different. There are all these things that make every game a unique proposition. And if you don't take the time and the space and spend it with your game, watching it and figuring out what it needs, then you're not gonna be able to make the right decisions. And from my perspective, that's one of the things that made it great early on in, in free-to-play, right? Because when I worked on Free Realms, we had no idea. We could look at Asian free-to-play games, but there's really nothing in the West at that point. So we were figuring it out as we went, and how we figured out what worked was by doing something and watching players and changing it and seeing if it got better. And we made the decisions for what was right for that game without regard to what other people were doing. I mean, we looked at it, we watched what other people were doing, uh, but we certainly didn't assume that we had to do it that way. And I think, Best practices sort of become a you have to do this or you fail proposition in free-to-play games right now, and I think it's a really dangerous path for us to go down.